So here in lesson eight, we are rounding a given decimal to any place using a place value understanding and also using a vertical number line. So let's take a look here. We're going to round to the given uh, place value. Here we're being asked to round to the nearest tenth, and here we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. Of course, we have the two different numbers, so we have to take a look at how many tenths can we get out of this number here. And of course, don't forget to circle your value on your number line, which place value you're rounding to. So how many tenths can we get out of here? If you look at this number here, the most number of tenths you would be able to get would be 139 tenths would be the maximum number of tenths that you would be able to get out of this number. So this is going to determine our endpoints, our high endpoint and our low endpoint. And then we'll be able to find our midpoint. So if we have 139 tenths, our other endpoint would just count up one tenth and put us at 140 tenths. And all I did was rename this as tenths. I know that 13 and 9 tenths would be 139 tenths. And my midpoint is going to fall right in between these, and we can keep, keep this as a decimal, 13 9 tenths. And this would be 14 no tenths. All right, so right in between 13 and 9 tenths and 14 would be 13.95 or 13 and 95 hundredths. And remember, that will be our midpoint. So now we need to determine 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Where is this number, the entire number, 13 and 989 thousands going to fall into this uh, number line. So this is 13 and 950. That would be 60, 70, 80, 90. So it'll be just under the 90 mark there. And that would be our number. So we know that we would circle this number here, we will round this up to 14 or round it to 140 tenths. All right, let's take a look at B. So now we're rounding to the nearest hundredths. Looking at this number, if we go all the way out to our hundredths, that is the maximum number of hundredths we can have, which would be 38,299 hundredths. So that would be our endpoint at the bottom. And going up, our endpoint at the top, we'll just count out one more, which would be 38,000. 300 hundredths. THS at the end, don't forget that. And let's write that. That is our unit form. So let's write that in standard form. So as a decimal, that would be 382 and 99 hundredths. And this would be 383 and zero hundreds. So in between these numbers here, if I just add my extra zero place just to find my midpoint, I know that this is just going to count up five in my next place value unit, which will be my thousandth place. So if I just add five thousandths to this number, I can find my midpoint. You know that if we're just looking at this number here as two and nine hundred ninety thousandths and three thousandths, three thousandths, we know that 2,995 thousandths will fall in between those two numbers. So that's my midpoint. Now I need to determine, looking at this whole number here, where would it fall at on my number line? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I know that this would be 990. This would be 991. 992. 993 would fall right here. So that's where my number would be. My entire number. 382,993 thousandths. So I would circle this number. I would round this down to the nearest hundredth, which would be 382,099 hundredths. Hopefully that clears up some of the confusion. If you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in class, and we can review some other skills as well. As always, like and subscribe. Hopefully this video helps close some of those gaps. Thank you.